Hello, my name is Kyle Pugh with Webucator. During this video, I'll be demonstrating a process of deleting rows from an Excel table using criteria through a macro. This demonstration is based on a blog post provided by Eric Benson. I'd like to thank Eric for allowing us to take his procedure and turn it into a video format to be able to share with all of you. For the full article, feel free to visit Eric's blog at the URL provided below. All right, so here I am inside of Microsoft Excel. On the left-hand side of the screen, I've got Eric's file. This contains the procedure that he's created that we're gonna be demonstrating here. This file is also available on Eric's blog post that we mentioned earlier in this video. Feel free to download it. On the right-hand side of the screen, I've got a simple little Excel worksheet that I've created with a simple table in it, and I've duplicated it twice. So what I'd like to do before we actually take a look at the procedure is I want to run through this code. I want to run the actual procedure and show you step by step what's going to take place here. So back to the left hand side of my screen, I'm going to go ahead and give the delete rows button a click. This will activate the procedure, the macro or the VBA that Eric has generated. So I'll give that a click. This is going to open up just a simple little message box tells me a little bit about what's happening here. Hey, this is going to remove rows in a table, if values in a column meets a user-defined condition. And we'll see this as we continue going through, but this is just more of, hey, FYI, this is what this procedure is going to do for you. So I'll go ahead and hit OK to that little message box. The next thing I get here, and this is part of the Visual Basic that's running in the background, is I get what's called the Select Column Form Window. And here, the macro has analyzed my little table in the background, and it's found that this table contains three columns. So now it's asking me for some user input here, user being me at this point, to be able to pick which column do I want to add some criteria to? What's going to act as the column that I'm going to search to remove records? So in this case, I'll grab the order amount column. That's the order amount column that's inside of my my table in the background. I'll go ahead and hit OK. The macros found those columns. Now it wants to know, great, we've got the order amount column. Well, what's your criteria? What are we going to search for to decide what should be deleted from, these, uh, from, from this table? So in this case, we've got three operators. And I can say, hey, I want to be able to find all of the order amounts that are less than a certain value, are equal to a certain value, or greater than. A certain value. In my case, I'm going to stick with the default, which is less than. And I'll say I want to find everything that is less than $100. And it looks like I've got one, two, three, four records in this table that have an order amount of less than $100. So I'll put 100 inside that numeric value box. And I'm going to hit OK. Now at this point, we're going to have a whole bunch of code that's running in the background. We don't see this in the front end here but there's a whole bunch of code in the back end that's gonna go through and analyze all the records, find the ones that are less than 100 with the order amount, and remove them from this list. So I'll go ahead and hit OK. And as you can see, just like that, lickety split, right? It's removed those handful of records that it found inside of my table that were less than $100 in the order amount. So I want, I want to pause there for just a moment looking at the Excel document and let's open up the VBA window and let's take a look at what's actually happening inside of this table. All right, so I've rearranged my window here a little bit and I'm showing off on the left hand side, I've got Eric's Excel file with the procedure, the button called delete rows. I've got that simple little sales data table that I created earlier. And I've now opened up the VBA window or the Visual Basic for Applications window. And in here, we're gonna be able to see all the procedures, the VBA code that Eric has created that I'm gonna demonstrate here for you. As you can see back on the left-hand side, the shortcut key of Alt plus the F11 key at the top of your keyboard, this will open up the VBA editor. Now within the VBA editor, throughout the code, I've sprinkled in three breakpoints inside of this code. And I'm gonna demonstrate bouncing from one breakpoint to another as the code runs. 
I've put in three breakpoints. The first one is on the primary procedure. The first thing that runs when you click on the delete rows button. It's called the sub procedure open sort. And you can see it right there. If I scroll down just within the VBA window, you'll see my next breakpoint is in a procedure, a sub procedure called criteria. So when my macro first runs, it'll stop on that first procedure. We'll talk a little bit. Then I'm going to advance the procedure and it'll get into this criteria procedure, do a little bit more for me. And then finally, it'll bounce down to my final breakpoint, which is sitting on this line here where it's going to make a call to another procedure called delete row. And this is the one that's going to go through and delete the records out that match the specific criteria that I've told it to search for. So let me get back to the top of my VBA window here. We're going to start out with this open sort. So all I'm going to do here is hop back over here and click on the delete rows button on the left hand side. So I'll give that a click. This is going to run the procedure called open sort and right away it's going to be put in the break mode. I'm inside a debug mode now. You can see that the sub open sort command or line right there has highlighted in yellow and it's got a little arrow next to it. So this procedure here, this is the one that kicks off the macro. This is the one that's going to say, hey, first I'm going to give you a message box just to let you know what I'm doing here. And then it's going to check for specific conditions to make sure that everything's set up properly within our Excel document so that it can, it can do the rest of its work. So I'm going to advance the procedure. I'm going to hit the F5 key on my keyboard. This will take me to my next breakpoint. So first, I get the, the box, the FYI box, just, hey, this is what this macro is going to do for us. Great. I'm going to hit OK. As soon as I hit OK, the rest of open sort will run. And this, this checks for the data, makes sure it's up inside of A1, looks for the column headers, grabs those column headers. I'll hit OK. This now takes me down into the sub criteria procedure. And I'll hit F5 again. Now, now that it's identified the headers for my list, the criteria procedure now is presenting me with some input. First, it wants to know, hey, well, which column do you want to use? I'll grab order amount. I'll hit OK. Now it wants to know the criteria that I want to put in here. What, what records am I looking forward to delete? Like before, I'll say less than 100. And I'm going to hit OK again. Now my procedure is continuing to go, but I get to my next breakpoint. This is within the prior procedure. It's now making a call to the delete row procedure. And this, this is actually going to run 10 times. It's going to check all 10 of my records to see if they match my criteria of order amount less than $100. And if it is, it'll delete it out of this list. So I'm going to continue to advance my, my macro here, the procedure, by hitting the F5 key, but I'm going to tap the F5 key 10 times because it's going to run the delete row procedure 10 times once for each record. So I'll hit F5. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I'm done. So a handful of procedures in there, each kind of modulized in their own little area. One to, to check for setup, make sure everything's proper inside there. Uh, the next one to grab the data and get the input from the user. And the third one to actually delete the records that match the criteria that you've supplied it with. So there you have it. Using Eric's macro, just a couple of little procedures to be able to delete rows from an Excel table using criteria. Again, I'd like to thank Eric for allowing us to create this video based off of his procedure. Feel free to jump out to Eric's full blog site for more tips and tricks on Excel VBA. You can visit the URL provided below.